You're listening to Happy Healthy Hormones with Dr. Chris. Are you tired of the short-term patch to your health problems? Is avoiding medications and surgeries important to you? If you answered yes, then your prayers have been answered. Dr. Chris has been helping people transform their health for over a decade. He's a world-renowned health expert who specializes in holistic health. He's a professional speaker, chiropractor, and international best-selling author. It's his mission to help you reach your full God-given potential through holistic health and healing. Get ready to be inspired and transformed. Here's your host, Dr. Chris. Hello and welcome everyone. This is the show where disease takes a dive and people come to thrive. And today I want to talk to you about something that affects every single one of you out there. We are getting exposed to more toxins at this time in our lives than at any other point in history. People are getting exposed to toxins in their households, in their places of work, in their environment, in a 24-7 fashion. But there are things you can do to eliminate those things. But if you don't, it leads towards a life of pain and disease. There are more cancers being diagnosed right now, autoimmune diseases, gastrointestinal problems, inflammatory problems in people's lives that are going under the radar until it blows up. And then when it blows up in your life, it's a big deal. It's going to affect you not just financially, it's going to affect your quality of life and what you're able to do with your loved ones and your passions in your life. And so we really want to identify today what you can do to start to eliminate that toxic load in your own life. So today I want to talk to you about what I think are some of the biggest household products that are killing you and your family. So I'm going to name off the top seven today. These are no order and there are other ones out there, no question, but these are some of the ones that show up with the most frequency in people's homes. And so Our goal today is not to just transform your health to where, hey, you've got every source of toxin or toxicity out of your life. No, I'd rather just get you to a point where you can start to shift the direction your health is headed. And if you can take at least one of these things I'm talking about today and start to eliminate them or replace them with something that's not toxic in your daily life and in your house, then you will make a huge step in getting yourself well, keeping yourself well, and avoiding the five out of six Americans a day that are dying of a chronic disease. So let's look at number one right now. Number one is a toughie, but an easy one to replace. Household cleaners. I'm talking about things like disinfectants, toilet bowl cleaners, dishwasher fluid, wood polish, window cleaner, bleach. The list can go on from there. But these things are riddled with things like phthalates, ammonia, chlorine, things that are called perks, which is an abbreviation for a really long, fancy word, which I'm not even going to try to begin to pronounce pronounce on, on the radio today on our podcast. But when you look at it too, there's things like uh, triclosan, which are neurotoxins, um, cause cancer. These things are, are crazy. They, they diminish your nervous system's ability to communicate with the rest of your body. Not only do they cause cancer, but they also create bacteria resistance. You know, remember the days when you just go out there and play in the dirt, get dirty, and actually get some bacteria underneath your fingernails, and if you were a weird kid, you might have actually eaten the dirt as well, but those are all good things. They didn't kill you, but they actually made you stronger because of the fact that they were actually helping build up your immune system. So in today's sterile world, we are subjecting ourselves to a weakened immune system, and so it's okay to have your child around another sick kid. It's okay to put yourself in a scenario where you maybe eat that thing off the floor because it touched it for two seconds. Like, that's okay. They have a 10-second rule for a reason, okay? So I'm talking to you about not being so particular. not saying be dirty, but I'm saying don't be so OCD about keeping a sterile environment. There's a difference between being clean and having good hygiene and just being sterile and sterilizing everything in your life. So the second thing we look at too are air fresheners. So air fresheners and perfumes go along with this. In fact, people don't realize it, but perfumes and fragrances are one of the deadliest Christmas gifts that people give every year. Known to be not only cancerous, but hormone disruptors, start to create infertility, autoimmune things. The the list can go on with that as well. But when we look at it, these create allergies, asthma, and even weight loss resistance. Now, it's really easy to replace these things as well. I'm going to get into how to do some of these things here in a second. 
but you can't just keep going on thinking, hey, you know what? It's just a little bit of toxicity here, a little bit there, not that big a deal. Toxins add up in our body. They do what's called bioaccumulation, which means they accumulate in the tissues of your body, in your cells. Now, it doesn't just happen in our own cells from things we are directly in contact with, but also the things that we eat and then the things that our food ate as well. So for instance, let's say we take a fly, right? And a fly gets sprayed with a chemical. So that fly then gets eaten by uh, a chicken, right? And that chicken is also fed grain that has been sprayed with chemicals and pesticides. And that's also eating that bug that is also tainted as well. So there's a little, I mean, these things are just a little bit of toxicity, but now it builds up in that chicken where it's a greater amount. And then we say we have a, another animal that eats that chicken, right? And then that has more bioaccumulation. So now those toxins from the things before it are also in that body. And then now let's say with human, we finally go to eat that product or that plant or that animal, whatever it might be. And now we're getting mega dosed with toxicity from several different areas. And so that's how it happens. Now, the third thing I look at too is makeup. These things have heavy metals, major endocrine disruptors. Well, the majority of people that are wearing makeup are female. And the biggest population that are affected by endocrine disruptors are females. And they're putting things on their body on a daily basis that are cancer causers. So I'm not telling you to get rid of makeup, but be smart and how you're starting to apply those things, what you're putting on your body, find the natural products, the mineral-based things as well. Now, it's not easy. I know you have different skin tones and different preferences. You gotta do a little bit of research, a little trial and error sometimes, but it's a huge thing you could change in your life immediately. Also, we look at things like shampoos and conditioners. Who uses these things on maybe a daily basis sometimes? So a lot of these things can contain SLS, which creates skin problems, also another carcinogen. And then we look at number five, clothes and furniture. I say, Dr. Chris, what am I supposed to do, start walking around naked? No, it's not what I'm saying. But we've got to understand what's in these products. There are things like flame retardants. Now, flame retardants are also put in some of our food supply. That's a whole other, <laughs> that's a whole other podcast and, and, and radio show. But when we look at things here, these are major carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, now, some of these things you have control over, you can actually buy furniture and request that those things not be in your products, but sometimes you, you can't avoid it all, right? But then we also look at tap water. This is one of the biggest sources right now for the majority of Americans because most Americans do not have their own private wells. They have city water, municipal water, which include things like fluoride, chlorine, and then from the pipes, lead and all these things lead towards neurotoxicity which when you have neurotoxicity that is any type of symptom right there because your nervous system controls every function of your body obviously we get back to the endocrine system again as well and a lot of things going on with fertility you look at fluorosis in children as well i mean this is a huge a huge detriment to our society but we just keep putting these things in our body why we look at number seven, which is toothpaste, another source of fluoride and another source of SLS as well. Number eight are, is the microwave. Now, this is one of the things that really just throws people for a loop. They're like, oh my God, I can't live without my microwave. Well, you gotta understand what it's doing to your body and what it's doing to your food more than anything. It denatures your food. It creates more electromagnetic frequencies in that area, which most people collect in the kitchen. A lot of people stay in the kitchen while they're using their microwave. But it, not only does it denature your food and it, it really affects your body and tends to denature your body, but there's been a ton of research on microwaves and their effects on living organisms. So just get rid of it. You can replace it with things like a new wave oven, something that has more of that convection heat than a microwave, and it's not really that big of a time difference. I've lived without a microwave, my wife and I, for I've probably been going on 10 years not using a microwave. My wife is probably seven or eight, and we don't miss it. But you got to get in that habit, right? It's about creating new habits. Number nine is Wi-Fi connections. 
There is a huge amount of research coming out now about the neurological interference that creates in your body. Our bodies are made up of energy, and that is a huge disruptor. It affects your sleep, your concentration, showing to create cancer. This comes from cell phones, microwaves, electronic devices. We're getting Wi-Fi zapped at us. We have no idea where it's even coming from half the time. And then number 10 is medications. Now, this list is too long to mention, but anything that's a medication is a poison. Now, I understand if you might be on that for a crisis, but not for long term. They're never designed to be taken long term. And the more you're poisoning yourself, the more toxic buildup you're having in your body. So when we look at these things, I mean, I've had numerous patients. For instance, this one gal named Debbie lost 50 pounds just because she was able to get rid of the toxicity that had built up in her body over the decades. She lost weight. Now she can lose weight whenever she wants if she gains a little bit back because she's had maybe had a, a bad weekend, a bad week. But when you are toxic, you cannot lose the weight. You have low energy, but that affects your confidence. It starts to create more pain in your body, leads towards things like Alzheimer's and dementia, all things that you want to stay away from. So let's get to some really basic solutions right now. Number one, rid your house as as much of this stuff as you can. Get rid of the microwave. Start to replace those cleaning supplies with natural organic things, such as I like to use essential oils with a combination of vinegar. Really simple. You can take care of 99% of your household cleaners with those two things right there. Replace with healthy solutions like the cleaning products, the makeup. You can go to 100percentpure.com. Um, something called ewg.org. It helps you actually look at what's good, what's bad, what you're already using, and if it's something that's still creating a negative impact in your health, if it's toxic. Number three, test yourself for toxicity. Right? There's some simple tests you can do, things we do in our office, we can even do remotely with people, where it's 50 times more accurate than a blood test. Things like meta-oxy testing, which is a urine test. There's actually a visual analog test you can do over the computer as well to test whether you're toxic or not. I mean, these are things that are simple, but a lot of people don't know about them. And then go through the process of getting it out of your body. Right, start with the foods you're eating, start with the things you're exposing yourself to, start to limit the exposure levels you're getting as well. You can't get rid of it all, but you've gotta start to try to get the biggest offensers. And then go through the the phases of prepping your body to get those toxins out. Going through a body phase where you can get the superficial toxicity out of your body, the easy stuff that you can get to, and then getting into a brain phase where you actually start to get the deep tissues, Um, crossing over the blood-brain barrier so you can actually start to get the deep stuff in. It's going to make a huge impact in your life as well. So I've had multiple patients that have gone through that process of detoxifying their body. Like Marilyn, for instance, she was forgetful, unable to concentrate, couldn't even drive at night because her vision was so bad, which is a side effect of toxicity. And after just six months of detoxing her body, she was off medications, her concentration levels came back, her pain went away, and her vision came back to where she was able to drive at night now with no problem at all. And this was a huge game changer for her. So again, remember, you can overcome anything in your life. We just got to make sure we're removing the interference. So you don't need any help healing, just no interference. Thanks for listening, and we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please help more people in reaching their fullest potential and rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. For show notes and other free resources we mentioned today, go to newedgewellness.com.